Hello again, everyone. Edwin Lerner back once again. In this YouTube segment, I'm going to be giving you my preview and analysis of the 2016 NBA Western Conference Finals that pits the Oklahoma City Thunder against the Golden State Warriors. Now, this has is a very uh, this has a making for a very good uh, matchup. The Warriors finished the regular season number one in scoring, 114.9 points per game. Oklahoma City was number two at 110.2 points per game. Both teams like to play at a very frenetic pace. Uh, they were both leader up there in fast uh, break points per game. Golden State Warriors were number one in the league at fast break points per game, while Oklahoma City Thunder was number four in the league. Um, to me, really, you got a lot of superstars in this game. You got Stephon Curry for the Warriors, and, and congratulations to him, of course, for becoming the first player in NBA history to win it unanimously. I think it is a big deal. Some people don't think it is. Some people think a victory is a victory. But when you win, uh, when you win it unanimously, it just shows the disparity in people's minds between the number one and number two player in the NBA. So yes, it does bear a lot of significance. At least in my opinion, it does. Now, anyway, back to as far as the preview goes. I mean, these two teams are monster rebounding teams. You have the Warriors um, that finish number fourth in rebounds per game at 46.2 per game and then you have the Oklahoma City Thunder that uh, finished number one in rebounds per game so 48.6 per game during the regular season so uh, saying that it's imperative to contain the, these teams as far as uh, rebounding really would be a vast understatement it's going to be uh, it really th this could be even though these teams are known for their scoring this could be what could this could come down to as well is boxing out and whichever team does the better job boxing out in this series as opposed to the average series is going to figure in immensely i think in terms of who emerges victorious in this series now the golden state warriors are going to have the home court advantage and the past two seasons uh, during the regular season uh, Golden State has dominated uh, Oklahoma City they have beaten them they are six and one in the last seven games which is from the past two regular seasons uh, they managed uh, Oklahoma City Thunder salvaged one win 127-115 uh, in the 2014-15 season and and uh, both teams have looked very good in the postseason. I think what's really, uh, to me, what's very impressive about Golden State is that they were without Stephon Curry for a good part of that series against the Portland Trailblazers, and they still managed to beat him in five games. The, the, uh, actually, in that series against Portland, Golden State averaged more points per game in that series than they did in the regular season. Golden State averaged nearly 119 points per game in that in those five games versus the Portland Trailblazers. And Curry, if I'm not mistaken, didn't play in three of those games. And really, I mean, this team saying that Golden State has a plethora of weapons, of course, is a vast understatement. This is going to be a, a series which is going to have a lot of fast break points. You're going to have a lot of scoring. You're going to have a lot of three points scoring, I believe, especially from Golden State, of course, who is, of course, saying uh, they're relentless as far as their three point shooting would be an understatement, of course. And the thing about this is, is that uh, Oklahoma City Thunder in the last two seasons versus Golden State. Okay, as I stated before, okay, Go Golden State is six and one in those seven games, meaning Oklahoma City Thunder is one and six. The only win that Oklahoma City Thunder got was uh, was at home. They are uh, Oklahoma uh, Golden State won all four games at home over the past two seasons, four and zero oh in that span versus uh, the Oklahoma City Thunder. So. Uh, th th that's kind of going to be a, a hurdle that I think they're really Oklahoma City Thunder will have to try to get over. Obviously, they're going to have to win at least one game at Golden State if they're going to emerge victorious in this series. However, the positive side for um, 
for Oklahoma City Thunder is that they're showing a little more of a propensity to win on the road now. They are 4-1 and one on the road during this postseason, and they, beat, uh, they defeated San Antonio Spurs two times on the road, beat them two times at San Antonio uh, in that in this, this past series against them. And San Antonio Spurs looked everything but invincible at home. And uh, really, I think what happened in that, that series against the San Antonio Spurs as far as um, Oklahoma City Thunder go, I think it just, they, they exploited really maybe the age of the Spurs. And you know, Tim Duncan did not look good in this series, if I'm not mistaken. I think there was one game he was held scoreless, and I think that was the first time that ever happened to him in postseason history. So... Really, maybe this is a sign that Oklahoma City uh, Thunder are starting to really show their mettle in terms of being a real strong, uh, viable contender for the NBA title. That being said, I think the I, when I look at the, these two teams, you have Golden State has the, the two-time uh, MVP winner to the last two seasons with Stephon Curry, and then maybe arguably the number two and number three players in the NBA are on the Oklahoma City Thunder with Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook. However, Golden State right now, just as a team, I just think is a little bit better. They have the um, they have all the proponents. They can they could score, they could rebound. This is a team that will uh, it, it doesn't even have to be Stephen Curry necessarily. They just find ways to, to win. Clay Thompson has averaged 27.2 points per game during the postseason. They have a number of other players that can elevate their play. And the problem is with, with Oklahoma City Thunder, after West, Westbrook and, uh, and Durant accounted for over 50% of the offense during the regular season for the Oklahoma City Thunder, the problem is is that you can lose one player from well you could, if you if Oklahoma City Thunder if they lose Durant or Westbrook I think that's pretty much it for them in the series Golden State can actually lose Curry and they might have a little better chance of winning and another way I think of perceiving and looking at this is is the fact that the, after uh, when you're talking about Oklahoma City Thunder, you're really talking about two main players, and that's really about it for them. Now, after with the Golden State Warriors, however, you have you have such uh, as more as far as in addition to Curry, you have a lot more weapons in addition to that. Where whereas opposed, it's only two I think really strong ones for uh for oklahoma city thunder golden state really has uh, has at least four i think very strong players on this team and i think that's really what it's going to uh come down to i think westbrook and duran have had to carry this load during the regular season and it's really i think it might at some point take its toll on this team golden state it's just a little more about a more of a collective team effort that they have and there's just too many weapons on this team i think and i think it's just a lot for oklahoma city thunder to overcome you're probably maybe though both teams will run a lot of pick and rolls and try to tire the the offensive players out on each team and make them run uh, work on defense trying to trying to uh, guard the pick and rolls is what I'm thinking could very well happen. When it's all said and done though, there's too much talent, too many warriors, too many um, too many weapons on Golden State uh, on for the Golden State Warriors and it's going to be too much for the Oklahoma City Thunder to overcome. I like Golden State winning this series in six games. Well anyway people that'll conclude this NBA preview for the 2016 NBA Western Conference uh, Finals which pits the Oklahoma City Thunder against the Golden State Warriors. Until next time people Edwin Leonard saying stay well.